Hey there guys, Jerry here, aka Misohani, back in with another video. And today we got the Warlock cards here revealed. I thought I was going to miss the Warlock, uh, Death Knight, and Shaman reveals here until Thursday. But as it turns out here, apparently part of the Warlock stuff got revealed on Saturday. And then obviously just now, less than an, an hour ago here. So let's go ahead and go over the Warlock cards the Death Knight and the Shaman stuff will have to wait until uh, probably real early hours of Friday morning here because I will be on vacation until then. So let's go ahead and just go over uh, this stuff here. So firstly here, we got Health Drink here. So this is the, well, if it pops up, I was going to say, uh, the drink here for Warlock, 3 mana, Fell Spell, Lifesteal, Deal three damage to a minion, uh, so pretty good. Obviously, another addition to the Popgar uh, thing, but more controly styled, I would say here. Obviously, the cost reduction here. It already has life steal, so gaining life steal from Popgar does not really matter to begin with here. But this getting off of like the the Murloc for like certain other classes if they're playing like a control or Reno variant style build. Uh, is actually pretty good, so I think this card's fine on its own here. I don't think it's amazing by any means here, but I definitely think it's probably the worst of the bunch, but it's probably just fine. So I'll give it a 3 out of 5. And I think we got to go back down again. Because, yeah. uh, announce Darkness, a 2-mana spell, Shadow Spell. Uh, replace your hero power and non-warlock cards with warlock ones, uh, but they cost one less. So you get... The hero power is good, obviously, here, but the problem is here is just getting random warlock cards is not great. Yes, this can be abused in Rogue. That's why, you know, this is kind of replacing the hero power side of things here, too. Is it good? No, this seems like a pretty much a meme. I'll give it a 2 out of 5 for the memes here, but outside of that here, I can't really uh, say that this is great. If this was just like 2 mana, replace your hero power with uh, the uh, Warlock one, it would have been fine, but that's not the case here. Uh, Summoner Dark Marrow, a 4 mana, 4 4 undead. It's the Death Knight Tourist. Uh, your death rattles trigger twice after you play a death rattle minion, destroy it. So obviously here you're going to be focusing in on death rattle effects. I would assume that we're going to see a decent amount of death rattles in Death Knight this expansion. And that's where it is, because I think we only got one this expansion. So it's not that great. Uh, so, But it is a Taurus card, so I would assume it's going to see some play... Uh, here and there, so it's probably going to see some amount of play, so I'll give it a 3 out of 5. Next up here, we got Eat the Imp. 2 mana, Fire Spell, Destroy a Friendly Minion to draw 3 cards. Uh, this card I like a lot, actually. I think this card probably has a decent amount of synergies with it, uh, and obviously Death Rattles too here, so... You can literally play like an old zoo style variant, or maybe Pain Warlock just goes that route in general, and destroy like a new Rubian egg, now a 4 4 minion, and on top of that, draw three cards. Uh, it seems fine here too. And we have the uh, three drop that actually summons a new Rubian egg. So, yeah, uh, it's kind of interesting in and of itself. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. I think this one has. Uh, enough synergies going for it, and there's enough things in Warlock that go either wide or, you know, kind of, you don't really mind dying, and the card draw from this is good for the cost, so, yeah, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I think it's probably got some, I'll give it a 3 out of 5 even in Wild. I think it's got, like, some implications in Wild, and you have Raised Dead in Wild, too, that this wants to work with, so I like this card a lot. Uh, Sacrificial Imp, a 3-mana 1-6 demon with Death Rattle. If it's your turn, summon a 6-6 Imp with Taunt. Uh, this card is not good. 
do not play it. Yes, you can do something like shenanigans with it. Obviously, we get more death rattle synergies in Death Knight. Uh, but the initial stats for this thing, it just does not have enough here to really warrant interacting with it for your opponent. And if you're spending turn three playing a 1 6, that's not a very good play in today's Hearthstone. So it's kind of one of those things here that I, I just like wonder if they would have given this like taunt or just like made it a three mana like two two or something if this would be better i think that would probably have been way better but uh instead it's a, it's a one six which is really weird but i mean obviously it does synergize with the card that we just reviewed but i don't really think you want to be doing that for the the cost of this in the stats in today's world of hearthstone is just not that great so i'm gonna give it a two out of five it's probably got like some synergies to go with it does synergize with the taurus card too but that's a seven mana combo yeah it's just not i'm not seeing this so i'll give it a two out of five cursed souvenir and this card is really good uh two mana shadow spell give her minion plus three plus three at the start of your turn deal three damage to your hero uh, that kind of stuff does not matter. It's many blessing of kings, but the downside here does not matter at all. <laughs> so this card is really good. I think this card's going to see a ton of play uh, in both standard and wild. I think it's got some implications too in wild, uh, but we'll have to wait and see there. I think in wild you have plenty of synergies already that... This might not even just make the cut there. I'll give it a 3 out of 5 in Wild, 4 out of 5 in Standard. I think this card's got a, a lot of potential in Standard in today's metagame. And uh, with Pain Warlock already being a thing here, it's getting a little bit better with these cards. So I like this one a lot. Uh, Fearless Flame Juggler, 2 mana, 1-1 one, one Demon. Uh, Battlecry, gain stats equal to the damage. Your hero has taken this turn. Now, this is a card, if they decide not to nerf uh, either the Demon Seed or Dark Dark Blair here, I would be a little bit concerned with, but the Giants are probably overall fine and better anyways than this. That this might not even see play, or if it does, it might just be like a one-of in Wild here. In Standard, you... Or I don't know if this gets there. It's still two mana. Slush the celestial dude just got nerfed. I, I think you just want to play the giant, like the molten giants in the the four fours over this here. You still have to invest two mana in this. I'd rather invest two mana in like the geode and stuff like that, and actually draw more cards of. You could like reload the board if need be, but it's got some potential in standard. I'll, I'll give it an optimistic three out of five. I don't know if it's actually going to get there or not. Uh, so optimistic three out of five. And I also think here in wild, I'll give it a three out of five too. Uh, fill fire, bonfire, four mana, deal four damage to a minion if it dies. Your next death rattle minion costs three less. Uh, this card I like a lot because it works really well with the uh, queen from uh, Wizbang's Workshop. So instead of paying eight mana for the four four sticky minion that summons two four six knights, you pay five mana for that. It's on curve with this, so it almost seems like they did it on purpose. We'll see if we get any more other stuff here from Death Knight that can uh, possibly combo off with this. We also have Thunderbringer, so Thunderbringer would cost 5 for that ability, but we don't have that much to play with Thunderbringer, at least right now. We don't, but we'll have to wait and see what we get here. So uh, this card is interesting enough that it does get like the gears turning a little bit, so I'll give it a 3 out of 5. I think it's got some potential here. It also does like a slight mana cheat on a removal spell. So it seems fine. Three out of five. 
<coughs> Party Planner, Vona, 6 mana, 4-4, four, four, Battlecry. If you take an 8 damage on your turns, summon Ouroboros, or no, not Ouroboros, Ouroboros, uh, the World Serpent. So it's an 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight with Taunt and Death Rattle. Give a minion in your hand, Death Rattle, summon Ouroboros. So you can go infinite here with that. Uh, this card's interesting enough here, and I think it's probably like just good enough. Barely the C play. Like I think I would almost play the six mana three three that discovers a minion and then you summon a taunt minion uh with stats equal to its cost. Uh over this, it's really close. But in pain lock, obviously I think this is probably going to get there, uh, and it's probably going to be like the top of the curve in that deck. Uh, if they decide here maybe to move a little bit more in a control style uh, way, maybe it gets there here. But it seems solid enough to me here that it, it will get there. Now, I don't think this is a card that I'm the most excited about playing. No. I think it's still a little bit slow and... Also a little bit fragile, maybe even to something like Yog, Yog, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I do think it's going to make the cut here in C play. I just don't think it's at like that high end of the power level here. And then lastly here, we got the Party Fiend, a 1-mana one 1-1 one, one demon with Battle Cry, summon 2 1-1 one, one Fell Beast, uh, deal 3 damage to your hero. This is a 5 out of 5 card. Uh, it is fantastic for standard. It's fantastic for pain lock. They needed like one more one drop that dealt damage to itself or dealt damage to yourself here other than flame imp. Now it has that. So now you can play four cards on turn one other than just two. Uh, now in wild, are you going to play this in uh, demon seed lock? No, you're not. Uh, you do not want to ruin your raised dead pool. Raised dead is such a powerful card that you don't want to be doing that. Now, in a more aggro-style build, maybe it would see play uh, down there, but right now, I'm going to say no to this in Wild. I don't think it gets there, but in Standard, I think this is a 5 out of 5 card. I think it's 100% chance to see play with uh, no questions asked, and I think this might be... Um, it's It doesn't seem like super powerful. You're just getting, like... Summoning two one ones on turn one, we have cards. We've seen cards like that. Uh, getting that one extra one one may not seem like that powerful, but trust me, it is powerful. Whenever you take into effect here that that extra one one body can get buffed here by the buff card, or it can be sacked off to something, or it can trade into something. That little extra value always helps. That's like why Mining Casualties is such a good card in both Standard and Wild, and so on and so forth. So I do think this one is very, very good. So that's going to wrap it up for Warlock. Like I said, we have Death Knight and Shaman. That will get done later on in the week. So I'll see you guys in the next one.